Now, such a saddle point has a special name. It is called a Nash equilibrium, and it is so important. Why? Because at a Nash equilibrium, neither player can do any better fixing the opponent's strategy. What does this mean? Take a look at a picture of a saddle point of a Nash equilibrium as a function of two parameters, the different players' strategies. Okay, now, if you're not at a Nash equilibrium and you fix the other person's probability, then you can change yours in order to improve, in order to do better. But at a Nash equilibrium, at a saddle point, from player one's perspective, you're at a maximum. From player two's perspective, you're at a minimum. What this means is that player one has maximized winnings and player two has minimized losses. That's what a Nash equilibrium is. That's what a saddle point is good for.